So I'm Jeff Denworth. I'm a CMO and co-founder of a next generation storage infrastructure company called Fast Data. And I'm Brian Morse, Senior Vice President of Sales and Business Development for Soda at cloudsoda.io. Okay, so we'll start by uh, introducing each other's technologies, and then we'll talk about why we're working together. So let's start with Vast. Um, Vast is a next generation uh, distrib distributed storage technology company that uh, basically came to market really to simplify infrastructure for customers and to basically give them just unrestricted access to all of their data by taking customers to that all flash data center end state that we've all been aiming at for the last 10 years. And our system brings together a, a next generation storage architecture, which is uh, disaggregated and shared everything. We call it our days architecture that's designed for massive amounts of scalability, but also designed with next generation storage efficiency codes, such that we bring the cost of flash infrastructure down to a point where you can pay no more than what you would otherwise pay a legacy vendor's hybrid or hard drive based storage solution. So we've been in the market now for three years, fastest selling company in the history of infrastructure and super excited to be partnered with the Cloud Soda team because of the combined solution where customers get, uh, well, I'll leave it to Brian to introduce what he does and then we'll talk about what we're doing together. Hey, thanks, Jeff. Soda is a next gen SaaS application that really combines two things. Number one, storage cost analytics and number two, intelligent data movement. So let's take a look at storage cost analytics. So where we found out that where our customers are really struggling is really understanding what it's costing them to keep their unstructured data, whether it's on-prem or in the cloud. Uh, a lot of organizations don't understand the amount of data they have, the amount of files they have, whether data is hot or cold. And so what we do from a SOTA perspective is we allow customers to get that visibility into the right information and right storage of what tier it lives on and what it's costing them to keep it there so they can make smart decisions on where they're gonna move that data, okay? So when you get to our move, data movement perspective, there's a lot of data movers on the market. Uh, we've all been in the industry a very long time. There's been a lot of products that come and go. There's a lot of legacy products. A lot of them are cost prohibitive or, or complex. And that's really where, where we drive from a SOTA perspective is we wanna provide that ease of use, um, cost-effective uh, solution that we can give to our customers so they can make smart decisions on what they're going to move. So, you know, we built this whole no before you go attitude of letting our customers and our organizations know if I was to move a certain amount of content, um, how long would that take to move and how much would that cost? All before you, all, all before you move. Right, because that's a struggle out there. And that's not only moving from legacy systems on-prem to, to, to a new system like a vast storage, but moving data from, from cloud back on-prem is a struggle as well with egress fees and stuff. So really what we're trying to do is give full visibility in the cost infrastructure of where your data sits, then provide you cost uh, analytics of what it's gonna cost to move that content. And then once you understand all that stuff, then we go ahead and take that action and move your data wherever it needs to be. So it will talk a little bit about why we partnered up, right? Um, you know, from our, our vantage, uh, the SOTA partnership really is, is very valuable for us for two reasons. Uh, reason number one is, is to your point around the analytics and the cost savings utilities. We're um, a very disruptive organization in the market as we brought our solution in the market, people are realizing a radical amount of savings through the use of hyperscale flash through the use of next generation efficiency codes, both on the data protection and on the data reduction side uh, that apply even to compressed data. And so as we get into these customer selling motions, um, it becomes really helpful to have a, a complete analysis of what the customer's estate looks like and where those savings can be had as they move from legacy infrastructure to vast. But also from the perspective of mobility, we also have a, a class of customers that want the ability to move workloads or move data uh, up to the cloud in order to, or back down on-prem in order to build a, a hybrid cloud pipeline. And so Soda also allows us to kind of seamlessly in, integrate into the way that the customers want to compute on their data by providing the tools to get the data to where they want to compute when they want to compute on it. You know, Jeff, it's no surprise that Vast is becoming um, a disruptor in the all-flash market. 
um, with your guys' growth uh, over the past year. That's just tremendous. And that's just a, that's a huge value for Soda and where we want to partner. You know, we want to partner with, with companies that are, are forward thinking and really look to dominate the market for what they do. And as I see our partnership and Soda and the ability to really, as a solution, give organizations and customers more visibility into where their data sits today and the ability to not only understand that data, but move what data is appropriate into vast storage, whether that's legacy older systems or moving from hard disk to flash or moving from stuff that you, you know, was in the cloud that you know, we believe is better down on vast storage because you get the performance you need, you get the applications and the cost perspective um, of accessing that content, which is better for the organization as a whole. But when you combine those two solutions with a customer normally, they buy their storage and then they got to figure out how do we move the content? How long is it going to take us to even do that migration? Especially if you're talking in the petabyte range, that could be, depending on what you're using, that could be months to years. Um, what's it going to cost to move it? Man hours and, and such, right? And not only that, when you're pulling and you're deciding as an organization that, hey, I need to pull some st back, stuff back on prem to run on vast and not run it up in the cloud. You want to be able to return, get your return on investment on that. Like, what is that with egress fees and pulling that data back? How do I know this is the best time? This is the best for, for our company from cost perspective. And if you look at Soda sitting over the vast flash solution, that's where the value comes in is you got best of breed flash technology with smart data analytics and data movement sitting on top of the platform that cuts costs tremendously for customers that have had to do that with other applications that are in the market. So the partnership, I mean, pretty much explains itself for customers out there across multiple different vertical markets. And we're just happy, Jeff, um, to be part of part of Bass strategy and go forward plan. Sure. So, so how do customers get started with all of this, Brad? Sure. If you want to learn more about our solution, uh, you can visit cloudsoda.io. We have a solution brief out there. You can read about it. Um, you can also contact me there or contact me directly at brian.morsh at cloudsoda.io. If you want to get a hold of me, it's just jeff at vastdata.com. Well, thank you, everybody, for taking the time to understand our story. And uh, look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.